Ladies and gentlemen, cafecito time. We back. Boop, boop. Episode number, we're just going to say 2002. <laughs> just to make it sound like we've been doing it for a long time. A 2022 episodes. Yeah. Uh, wow, I can't believe that's going to be cool, though, to say. That's that's uh, like when that's I look overwhelming. At, <clears throat> like when I look at Rogan's uh, podcast number, I'm just like, oh, my God, how fun that this is your job all day long. Just talking. You know what I'm saying? When you got sponsors, when you got a system to reply to all the sponsors. But do y'all remember how he started? Just like a, with a shitty like 320 or 280. And he said like, he was camera. in like the basement of his house or something, right? With just his friends. They were just kind of yeah. like fucking around. It's like the first right? two or three years, maybe up to five years. There you go. Yeah. Badass. We need an intro song. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chingo Bling. This is Coffee See the Time. Who do we have here today? Your wife. La wife? Maricel. With and the Duracell. We, and we got DJ producer Big Rob in the building. What's up, everybody? That's why we look good, sound good, everything else. And uh, this show is broadcasting everywhere. You could catch us all over, all anywhere you could jam a podcast. And I believe we're really going to do a big push on uh, not only YouTube, but Facebook Watch. And that'll be like, we're thinking Tuesdays at noon. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to keep it week weekly. And uh, we're not going to miss. So is that our day, Tuesdays? I think that's a good day. Yeah, it's a good that's day. That's our day. All righty. All right. But before we get started, we got to do our... The cheers. <clears throat> Shout out to everybody tuning in right now. Sass. Keep it positive. What's uh, the message? What's the quote? Uh, what is the... Uh, inhale in, the... Inhale the good shit. Exhale the bullshit. Mm. Ooh, it's a lot of bullshit right now. A lot now. of bullshit it's right now. It's a lot now. of bullshit right mm. now today. Ah, ah, yes. All right. Throw those. Ah. <laughs> I don't want this to be a political podcast. Oh, it's, damn. It's, Here it's, we go. Wait, it's not going to be. The whole purpose of this show is I wanted to do something listen, non-political. and it's because of Kanye. I mean, oh, that's okay, kind of right. like. Yeah, that's culture. That's culture. Oh, that's culture war. Yeah, yeah culture. we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. Okay, well, you don't want to trigger me. Well, I just said Jeez. I thought. It's like, okay. dang, woman. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know what the drama with the Hadid, Gigi Hadid, attacked him because I guess Kanye went after the journalist who was kind of basically saying like i guess his i guess his fashion shows must always start late or something mm. and so basically like i guess this journalist i don't know the what the actual write up was or what she actually said but based on Kanye's rants on Instagram maybe you haven't seen them <clears throat> i think that so basically this he what's her name Gigi Hadid. Okay, mm -hmm. she was going after Kanye and defending the journalist? And, yes, because that's her friend's her friend of And so there's a journalist years. that made a comment about Kanye starting late. Mm. Is that what I gather? I think she was talking about more so what he wore. <laughs> oh, oh, it doesn't make sense cuz it says this. Mercy. Watch, it says that, uh, go ahead. It, just so y'all know what this post got, it got 407,000 this Likes. is the Kanye post. Oof. Go ahead and read Kanye's post. I wonder what Gigi and Venus's perspectives were when I didn't know where my child was on her birthday. Gabby told me that she disagreed with that, and that's me putting it in a nice way. She said it was on her group chat. So why did everyone feel so free to attack me about my T-shirt? But Candace Owens was the only public figure to say that that. It was wrong for the Kardashians to keep me from seeing my daughter. Or we just chime in when we want to tear a black man down for actually having a different political opinion. And for all audience so outraged about my t-shirt, where was you when I couldn't see my kids? I went public in hope of public support at that time. And his caption is, the children are our future. Then Candace Owens comes on here and says, my bigger question for Gigi is whether or not she felt it was bullying when Pete had your children name carved into his neck and was walking around with that after six minutes of dating Kim. I like Gigi. Excited to see what she's weighing in on. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to read the rest of it. Uh, why are people so upset over this White Lives Matter stuff? Like. Like so, so she, so this Gigi person, who I don't even know who the fuck she is, she made a comment about the White Lives Matter. Oh look, wait, yes, but wait, Chloe now went off too. Yay, I love you. Oh, by the way, he's legally named his changed his name to Yay. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. Yay, I love you. I don't want to do this on social media, but you keep bringing it here. You are the father of my nieces and nephews. I'm trying to be respectful, but please 
stop tearing Kimberly down and using our family when you want to deflect. Again, with the birthday narrative, enough already. We all know the truth. And in my opinion, everyone's tired of it. You know exactly where your child, where your children are at all times. And you wanted separate birthdays. I have seen all of the texts to prove it. And when you changed your mind and wanted to attend, you came like you have pointed out yourself. She is the one taking care of your kids 80% of the time. Please leave her and the family out of it so the kids can be raised peacefully. I come from a place of love and I am happy to continue this conversation privately if you wish. So she, so now Kanye, this is the, um, uh, okay. So this had nothing to do with white lives matter. So this ain't political. It's basically their family dirt. Yes, but they, but it all started over the t-shirt. Yeah, she was calling was him a bully, bully. Right? Yes. Chloe? No. No, Gigi, no, Gigi, Gigi was, calling... was calling him a bully. Okay. So that's where this all began. Okay. It's like, Gigi, don't nobody even know who you are, baby. This, we're talking about Kanye. <laughs> we're talking about the culture. A lot of guys know who she's Gigi She's a pretty is. big model. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she's a, I know she's like, didn't she date The weekend or something? But I can't point I her out. I don't know if it was Gigi or the other one, her sister. I got eyes from one woman. I'm married. Ah, here we go. Okay, okay Rob, uh, we're going to get go. on that subject. No, we just got hey, Pesito time. No, okay. but, real, but real talk. <clears throat> Is she is she that is she that fine, bro? That no. everybody memorized what she looks like? No, it's more so her name and her her. I mean, it's just Hadid. How yeah. about this? Because her mom was also a model. Okay, yeah. pause. Let me chime in. What's so special about this girl? Nothing. She Family just has a name. Just recognition. Yeah. No, what's so What's so good about the Kardashians? They got the Kardashian. No, nah, but why is she talking about Kanye? Like, why you got Kanye? Because don't talk about Kanye, this easy. Because I think Kanye came out. Don't talk about this, Mr. H to the Izzo. Listen, and then his blueprint too. Hey, listen. So then his caption for My Beautiful what, Twisted Dark Fantasy. Listen, oh my Linda. God. Listen, Linda. So when he, I guess when Chloe wrote, tweeted this or wherever she put this, right? He screenshotted it. And now this is his caption to that. It says, You are lying and are liars. Y'all basically kidnapped Chicago on her birthday so she could remember her father not being there. <laughs> Trav gave me the address of my child's party. That's how y'all play with black fathers. Y'all. Y'all also threw a party before Sam's birthday when I was flying back from Japan to be there for his birthday. And the first I heard about it was a scene of pics of the party online. Also, I should see my children 100% of the time. But since there's a separation, it should have been 50% of the time. Y'all wouldn't have played with Donda like that in Jesus name. Come on now. R.I.P. Donda. Mm. I'm saying Dr. Donda West. And now now Kanye is saying... Who should play me in a yay in the yay movie? My pick is Jamie Foxx, one of the greatest so, geniuses. So this Max. Gigi person had something slick to say about the White Lives Matter. Wait, well, was it Kanye was going after the journalist, right? So was that what it was? Yes. But what did he mm-hmm. say? Like, oh, shut up, lame. You don't know how this fashion shit works. I, I or something. And then Gigi was like, hey, that's my friend. And what she say about uh, Jesus? You're a bully. You're and a bully. And a joke. <clears throat> and a joke. And. I mean, it was a whole thing. Like, you're a joke and, you know, no one even cares who you are, basically. Like, no one even cares about Kanye. Like, get over yourself already. You're not that big of a deal. This is coming from Gigi Hid Hadid. These are coming from the real joke. Let's be real. Because now you got Haley Bieber, who's also in the mix now. Oh, now she's got involved? Haley Bieber joins Gigi Hadid in defending Gabriella. I guess that's that's the Vogue journalist. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did uh, what did Miss Mrs. Bieber say? What another Bieber? What does she have to say? Bitch, stay out of it. Oh, yeah. Um, she's just defending the journalist for you know writing up the story and talking about what was going on and having her opinion on it. What if he's like, you need to get your health together. <laughs> you should have gotten the jab. <laughs> you need ma'am. to go get boosted somewhere. <laughs> you over here. Don't know nothing about no fashion. All right. What if he's like, don't your husband got a world tour somewhere? Ain't his eye crooked now? <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. But yeah, kind of. <laughs> Something like Worry that. About your, what if he said that? Worry about your man's eye. <laughs> he would say some he shit would. like that. Like he, he told Jennifer Aniston, like, by the way, Friends wasn't funny either. Come on. <laughs> there you are. Age in the chaos. Age he would say that shit. Troll. Uh, okay, babe. So last week on my podcast, all right. Yes. Which is? Her lounge. Her lounge podcast. I, guess what I was listening to on the way up here. You were. So did oh, you yeah. hear our conversation where I told Rob? Oh god, I didn't get to that part. Oh good. About the Prague I think Rob's in trouble pra- at Prague right now. <laughs> Prague you. Oh okay. Um, because the um founder said that we should be just cut Rob. Yeah, cut Rob some slack. He's ten years younger. 
we should be thanking our husbands for mm-hmm. not cheating on us. Yeah, cut Rob some slack. Whoa, well, how, whoa, do you, whoa. how do you, you feel know, about that? I'm the old bull. You know what I'm saying? Once you start the one, <laughs> no, that's, babe, the one that's out the pasture, <laughs> hey. ain't got his nuts no more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the young bull is just trying to, you know, come after my alpha, my alpha position. Your sons. No, babe. Seriously though, what? Do you, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like women no, should? I, I, b- no, yeah. Basically, it's all in how you. It's all in the perception of it, right? Because who is he? Who was the doctor that first put that out there? It was Dennis Prager, it was right? Trainer, yeah, Dennis Prager. He had this whole oh, thing, okay. and he says how he's. T- a lot of people have said that because, um, because of this theory, so many couples marriages have thanked him and have have now said their sex lives even better. I'm like, it's not. A th- it's not a theory. It's biology. Well, what? look, th- there's so many different ways to look at it. It's all in how you perceive it, right? So some women are gonna be like, "You got me fucked up. What you mean?" I'm supposed to be a pot. He's supposed to be faithful. You supposed to be loyal. That's this literally is, my yeah. Yesterday. This is a marriage, right? That's a very uh, the, okay. Before you snap your fingers, the, the, let me give you the full context. Okay. The, the the whole thing was that it's harder for a man to be faithful than a woman because bio, bio, biologically, men are they want to plant their seeds throughout the world. Okay, I would argue that women have a similar. Uh, oh my god! I tell. See, like, like, that's fine. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> No. It's just not true, though, biologically. Hold on, hold on because the, the science isn't settled. You're telling me. Some things are just settled. Hold on, hold on. I think what you're, the big variable you're working in is cultural norms, meaning a woman is going to be seen as a hoe if she takes full advantage of her powers. Listen, so, there's, so, no. there's hoes out there that are very good at being hoes, and nobody knows they're a Who hoe. has the real time limit on having kids, men or women? Time limit on having children. Yes, a guy can be seven years old and okay. still pop off yeah. some children. A woman Women. really dangerous as they get older. Biologically, there's a reason for that. Men okay. have always had more children and later in life yeah. as they get older. Mm-hmm. Sure, our roles are different. What I was saying is, you're telling me that if a woman wanted to have options and not be faithful and do her tender thing, get down and dirty however she wants. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, psh, on a slick, yup. Like, like, imagine there's a chick that could walk into a gym, just be like, uh huh, yeah, on a slit, a buddy at the front desk, mm hmm, yeah, the janitor. You know what I'm saying? They could just be like, yeah, he hollered at me, I kicked it with that fool. Like, is that not a possibility? You, Speaking no, of, of the gym, is. babe, um, the guy at the front desk at the Heights gym said, hey, what are you doing here? And I said, uh, I'm here to work out. But don't you work it at the one in Rice Village? I was like, mm, are no. you checking when I work out, my So did you get that answer as to what <clears> the fuck? He says he works at both gyms. And he says, I see you at the other gym as well. And I was like, yeah, that's because I my work My membership the- works like that? <laughs> yeah, Damn, like, creep. I know. I was like, okay. You know, and that just made me how realize how unaware of your surroundings you mm. think you are but you're really not because i didn't ever realize that he worked at the other one but now you'll never forget not <laughs> exactly now i'll never forget absolutely so there's a lot to unpack with this prager you thing right yeah. and it's all in what how you want to perceive it so for example uh what he said he was like here's a whole bunch of data and here's a whole bunch of science that pretty much says it's hard in the motherfucker for for a dude to just you know not want or or do and act the fool right that's kind of a bit of what he's saying therefore hey couples hold on hold on uh, uh, I'm not okay saying okay therefore sorry i'm so long-winded no what are you talking about my bad y'all therefore yeah because i mean everybody's staring at me like well, well you're the one you're talking, the one talking. Man, what are we supposed to look at look in the corner everybody. well y'all like <laughs> snickering and shit <laughs> What, what is going on here? About? Have you cleared the alcohol of oh your system yet? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Rob, he, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no one's doing anything. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to sip my coffee now. Okay. I'll just leave it alone. <laughs> no. I want you to get to it. I want you, I want you to keep right, talking about it. All right. Here's the point. Okay. Here's the point. All of it can exist. All of it can be true. Can Prager, Dennis Prager help a lot of couples? Because in their dynamic, he likes her thanking him and she likes thanking him and they enjoy the fruits of that dynamic mm. absolutely there's probably thousands of fucking couples that really do say oh it's been off the chain bro i feel so men have an ego he's probably like bro she really thinks i she's out of my league as it is she really thinks that i have any fucking chance with any of these people and she thanks me bro like that already goes to my head and she probably like oh i never thought about that exactly there's so many ways to look at it she might even be like 
this motherfucker just gets off on me being like, hey, baby, thank you for being mine. Thank you for being all mine. <laughs> now, how come you never even gave that like a thought? You were like, no, there's no way. It's like, no, motherfucker, immediately. You well, didn't I didn't even... think about the ego part. Yeah, there's, you know? there's cultural I didn't, norms. I didn't, there's for science. Me, there's data. It's like, well, wait a minute. That's not fair to say. Because I think it's I think it's a job of both of both sides. You gotta know how to persuade. Right? <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you why I think it's a, it's the job of both sides. It's because of this. Remember we talked about when when there's something missing in the home, and then some guy at work or wherever is just like spitting like these little cute things, like oh. How you been? You know, oh, you look nice today, which nowadays I don't even think you can do that without it being sexual harassment, right? True. That's a really good topic, too. You know, you know, speaking of that real quick. Um, so I, I'm supposed to wear glasses, but I hate wearing them. So I just rather struggle. <laughs> you driving without contact? I, I don't like my frames. That's yeah. why I don't wear mine. Um, so I have astigmatism in both eyes. So it just kind of looks like a bunch of. Oh, same. Yeah, you know, distorted. Lights. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> but when I worked in the call center, because I'm in, a, in front of the computer so much, I would wear them, right? So I'm one of those people who, obviously, you guys know, I like to be, you know, a little cute and fashion forward. So I'd have cute frames all the time, as I do now, you know, I'm just going to be as wrong as. Anyway, this guy used to always come by and say, oh, man, like it was real like this. It wasn't like, hey, man. Your glasses are cute. Or like, it wasn't like flirtatious. It was more like a homie. Like, yo, those frames are dope, right? You're you killing them with them frames. Yeah, shouting. like that. <laughs> well, then I had no idea that him and one of the managers were dating because I guess, I guess they had it on the down low. So you know how I work? You have those instant messengers that mm -hmm. are like just in-house. So I get this pop-up and it says, what did he say? And I was like, <laughs> I said that he liked my glasses. Oh my god! And he was how like, "How did he say it?" And he's like, "Oh yeah." He's like, "How come he stops to talk to you?" I was like, first of all, so imagine my cubicle is like, so this is me. This is the hall. So you have to pass oh, me up, no matter what. Yeah. yeah, everybody sees me because you and um. So I was sitting at where you come into work <laughs> and then you walk by. So I'm in that cubicle where I see everybody. And that's why women are sometimes threatened by other women because they understand the power that they have. A lot of them can have their pick. Oh, most of them. Exactly. Probably all of them. So, so by that, by that, and I'm going to let you get back. By that, like what Prager, you said, Dennis Prager, if you flip it on the other side of the coin, it's like someone could equally argue, like, fellas, you should probably thank your wife. And of course, we're going to be like, I ain't thanking her for some shit she's supposed to be doing anyway. But it's like, but, but, but if your wife looks good, bro, and you, and she walks into a spot and it's like, bro, how many men are in that spot? Oh, let's just say it's four or there's 10, okay? how many she'd have a chance with yeah but y'all are missing the point of the whole thing honestly <laughs> you really are you really really are god damn it go anyway, on go on anyway so she she turned around and reported it to hr to hr i didn't even report it she did God right damn it. so Karen. hr so hr then calls me in and is like she was the one that lady was the one having a relationship at yes work. and by the way she was married of course, the most of them are. They got their work husbands. She was married. And she was snitched, and she was mad. mad. This guy is young and single, mind you. Okay, so he's he's younger. He ain't got no children, no he, nothing. He fell into the Venus flytrap. So basically, literally. So then I get called and I'm like, uh, they're like, um, so we've got a report and uh, we weren't, you know, like we'd like for you to look this over. We've heard that there's some sexual harassment happening to you. I was like, what? I'm like, who? Like who sexually harassed me? Well, we don't. We can't say who it was. Blah 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 blah. But you know, he usually walks by your desk and stops by and chit chats. And we're just. I knew immediately what Damn. this was about. I knew immediately, and I said, "For starters, our conversations are always, hey, what's up, right? What's up? You Casual. know, super. How? Are you? Oh, I like your. I like your frames. Thanks. You know." Man, you always got new frames. I'm like, I know. I just, I said, I like them. And so that was it. It was never like, it was never like sitting over my cubicle, like, what's up? How you doing? Like, it was never like a more than a. You wear them frames for me? Yeah. It was never like a 30 <laughs> second even conversation. You know what you're doing with them frames? You wear my favorite ones. So you know, I I've been thinking was, about your frames a lot lately. <laughs> so I said, I'm not signing anything. I'm like, there was no sexual harassment happening. He's never said anything disrespectful to me. And given a compliment for, for reading glasses, it's not sexual harassment, bro. And I'm not, I'm not signing this. Okay, well, we're just going to have to file it that you acknowledge that we talked to you. I said, 
absolutely not. I'm not going to do it because I'm not signing nothing now that says we acknowledge anything. Well, should anything happen? What's going to happen? You're already you're already pre. He's going to compliment like, your purse next. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Oh, how do we know he wasn't gay to begin with, right? Like, maybe he, like, you know? But the fact, I knew he wasn't because he's not when we, I he's knew hitting he was on doing, you? No, well, he was, hit, he was hitting that girl, uh -huh. <laughs> literally. And then I found out later, I think I've told you about this girl before, is she was married and her husband worked there with us, bro. Oh, so she had the Venus flytrap going on. That's strong. You know. And she would sometimes lie to her husband and say that she and I were going to lunch because I would go work out during lunch so you couldn't see me. you wouldn't see me you see what I'm saying because it was in another building so I had to walk to another building so you even if you walked around the regular building you'd never see me because I'm over so there so you were the alibi so she'd be like I'm telling my husband that I'm going to go um, to lunch with you but I'm really going to go get a room with him and I'd be like okay and she's like because my husband hasn't thanked me for not <laughs> cheating <laughs> way to bring it back there you go so yeah i mean sexual harassment is really real at work and i think sometimes bitches just overdo it can't take a compliment sometimes they just like feel like you're not that you're not that cute girl he's just giving you a so and for all you know he may just be trying to be nice because he can't stand you right because yeah. i know have you ever just been nice to somebody because you can't stand them and you know they're going to get more mad because mm -hmm. you're nice to them <laughs> Damn. i love doing that i love Straight doing that mean girls to people who i know dislike psychological me, psychological warfare and i just yeah. i'm just nice to them and they just can't stand it that i'm nice to them shut up uh, I, I this story i'm going to tell it because i don't care um i same place i was working here I had to be at work at six in the morning because I went to school at night, right? So my shift started super early. So it was only myself and three other ladies who had seniority there that worked that shift. Sorry, excuse me. I don't know why she didn't like me. I didn't understand why this lady didn't like me. She was also probably like mid sixties, right? And I would always walk by her and say, good morning, miss. I'm just gonna make up a name, Miss Shirley, right? <laughs> I should just go and turn around. I used to be like, okay. This exactly. And then every morning, every morning, I would do the same thing. And finally, she said, I mean, do you always have to be so happy? <laughs> Damn. And I said, I woke up today. I said, so, yep, I'm very happy. And after I told her that, <laughs> did that correct the That ice? was it. She was like, Hey, Marisol. I'm like, morning. You were trying hard to be a friend. Weird. Isn't that weird? Like, she was an older lady. So I just thought she was grouchy. I didn't know if she was mad because only of those three ladies had the seniority and they worked with my schedule so that I could go to school and I was not there as long as they had been. I'm talking about like 15 plus mm. years. She might have been like, I'm closer to the grave, so I don't really like your happiness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Let's take this moment to shout out one of our sponsors, Grind Ops Coffee. We have Perfect. a collab. We nice. got the collab coming. It's the red pill blend i thought it was gonna be red pill roast he's like nah bro this a blend Ooh, roast oh. something else oh. so yeah they, uh, they're texas based veteran owned and uh you'll be able to go to the grind ops coffee website uh to order to order that do we have a drop one. date yet uh no so as soon as it is it'll be in the description of these podcast awesome and yeah. at so stay tuned for that and of course twin candle company uh we have a collab coming what's our drop date big Don? it's burning right there over your shoulder and, and when that is that drop date good as soon uh, after we record this uh say a date later in october mid-october give us just like five seven day turnaround and we'll have it up on the website okay maybe yeah. like, so we'll make a big push but like you, october 15th or something uh, or how about that october 18th that's okay. his birthday that's my b-day october 18th yeah, okay. october 18th mm -hmm. you gotta sign up shingleblee.com to get the first scoop though the first Ooh. the scoop of all drops the coffee the candles the merch oh the, the new scoop all yeah, the yeah. scoops are at yeah. You got some new hats coming too. Those are yeah. dope. Mm -hmm. I yep. really wanted to keep one of those. And what about what's going to be the ad, uh, web address for the uh, the podcast merch? So go to RPT. Uh, well, go to chingabli.com, sign up for the newsletter, and you'll get all the information there. That's okay. that's yeah. that's the best place, the all newsletter. Right. But again, shout out to our sponsors, uh, Grind Ops Coffee and Twin Candle Co., also, So South, you're gonna you're gonna be hearing a lot about So South uh, mm -hmm. uh, as a sponsor. You can see the logo and all that right here. Burr, 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 burr. They, they distribute probably like eighty percent of my music catalog, and um, they're Houston based. Represent a lot of independent artists. So um, they were like, you know what, Chingo, we don't even deal. You know, we we deal with artists. We don't 
we don't advertise our business to just like people you know what i mean so mm-hmm. it's, it's more of a business to business type of thing they say hey man you know it's all good we're, we're down to uh be a part of uh the sponsors and uh support what y'all got going on and, and i'm like you never know bro maybe there's a comedian listening that's like they got or a comedy somebody album like an artist who's tra- who's trying to kick off his mm-hmm. career this could mm-hmm. be a route that he could go to yeah they right? can uh, link up with so south and get mm-hmm. that digital distribution that's there's always somebody trying to be an artist yeah yeah mm-hmm. i get a lot of dms of those or emails i'm sorry okay, see thank thank your wife mm-hmm. for not responding to all the dean no 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 i mean like <laughs> wanting to collab with you babe yeah yeah i know, I know. <laughs> thanks the wife of your <laughs> what i'm trying to say is y'all gotta be I thanking need to make a t-shirt wives. that says wife of your thank, yeah why thank your wife. You, right who came up with that make one that says thank you wife you did he did la wife of your la wife of your la wife of your i don't know if that's original but uh i've never heard it i've never heard it either mm. so that's how uh, we know it's original right i don't know the mm. genius brain that is Chingo speaking of wife of your y'all i turned 41 this saturday that's are true are you ready and i told her too i was like look in terms of gifts i was like i know you just went to lulu i was gonna go to lulu i was like i tried to get you some sneakers they didn't have your size and i know you just got some sneakers so let's start let's finish with this topic guys what should might as well let me ask you i guess how should a husband significant other try to find out what to get his wife you have to pay attention year round to what she says like i do keep, i pay attention to notes. what he says all year round and i know what that's why i never ask him what he wants for his birthday because i already know i'm super in tuned with a hundred percent of everything in my home so if next week we play a game called who knows who best and i do flashcards who's gonna know oh, who best 100 percent me he'll, really? he'll admit it Come on. hey so hold on See, hold, hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> whoa whoa give the man some time here she just finished saying she knows exactly what i'm gonna want but i have a hard time persuading getting what i want <laughs> like like for example we talked about on rpt she's like hey um let's get this couch out of the kids playroom and let's put some little mats and some you know uh monkey bars and the little wrestling ring. what are they the gymnastics rings mm-hmm. and a, the little wall climb thing and i'm like all right bet i know some people that do mats and they happen to be jujitsu mats and i already and i think i can get a discount and everything else she's like no we're not putting jujitsu mats why don't we not put jujitsu mats it's a dual purpose so 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 what does chingo want for his birthday the, the i said the, the go dummy? do it in the garage why don't you go do it in the garage the garage we don't even park our cars in there there's a lot of stuff in there. I told him, organize. organize it. Exactly. Organize it. And then I said, use the, because I said, why not? They sell 10 by 10s. I said, why not um, like turn this garage into the gym? Because I honestly kind of felt like I sort of low key want to start doing the videos again for like out of my garage, right? To record for, because I feel like if I open the garage, that light is so nice. And then, you know, so I, in my vision, like my idea was to, record at home right so that i don't have to come all the way to the office to record Mm -hmm. so that's why i was like why don't we turn the garage into the gym and he's like there's too much shit well yeah let's organize the shit that's in the garage Mm -hmm. and then we that's it and then you can go ahead and put mats in there and then you know you roll around in in the garage which penny needs the assistance anyway so do it with you know y'all could do it in there together Mm -hmm. it's a great way to exercise and work out so i don't have a problem with it because i already i already kind of feel that um you know i mean i think you know this rob i'm big time into aesthetic and what things look like and i like a certain thing and i really wanted the girls play area to look really good on camera and you know for when they do their videos but the more i sat there i was like well yeah this is nice for me you know this is where i made it look cute and pretty for me i, I was i was just quiet the whole time I, i'm not once he was not he was not quiet the whole time <laughs> Keep he's lying so he had the a point comment is, about everything the point I was is doing. i need a what are they called the jujitsu the dummies yeah the wrestling dummies. Mm-hmm. what do they call them uh your training training dummy yeah okay dummy. yeah those those are pretty cool so then get one and do it in the garage right you want you want it so go fix the garage because we don't park our cars there anyway the tahoe's damn too big to get in there I mean, we have to park like this close to the wall. I guess the Honda could go in there, but we don't even put it in there, you so know? no AC gym for Chingo? He's got to be in the garage? No AC gym. It's better with no AC anyway. You uh, breathe better. Yeah. You learn to breathe better. Yeah, dicho. In my, um, in my opinion, don't you think? I mean, we got a gym. Because you went to both. Yeah, I got, a, both I, got, I got a gym membership, Rob. I don't know what you're trying to insinuate to the, to the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so Chingo can't get no air. He can't, you can't get a little fan. Um... <laughs> 
Chingo oh. can't get no breeze. You suffocate. He in a gulag. <laughs> but I do want for the girls to have it. I think if we made it a little bit more fun for them, the set is also a thousand bucks. Damn. So I'm kind the of play, the playroom thing, the little play thing. It's all together. So it's. All, I think I showed you a picture. Yeah. No, it's all connected. It's really cool. It's a really cool thing for them because also it's so hot in Texas or in Houston in general. I mean, poor Penny. It's like. I mean, we go down the street and back, and she's she she's she's got uh, learned how to jump rope, bro, and it keeps track of how many jumps you do, and so she's constantly asking like, "What, what number is this say? now?" Because it's three numbers, and obviously she doesn't know how to count that high. So I'd be like, "Oh my god, Penny, you got to a hundred. And so the next morning, she woke up saying that her hip hurt, and she said, "I think it's because I jumped too much." She must have landed wrong. Or I think she wrong. landed wrong because you know what else? You know how my daughter is. Uh, She's you. She jumps off the couch and spins the, the jump, jump rope. rope to land, bro. That's probably how she hurt. I think so. that's how she hurt. But yeah, I do want that gym set. Actually, I think Penny's going to buy it for herself because she's got enough money. If we can get her and, YouTube popping. And her hey. little three piggy banks uh, that she has, there's enough money. The other day, I'm cleaning her little kitchen. And you know the little sink? She just had money thrown in there because she. I bought her. I think I told you about this ATM mm-hmm. um, piggy bank. Piggy bank. That's awesome. So she likes to play with it. See, she didn't know the code. She watched another YouTube channel, who said the code is zero 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 four zeros. She right. Figured it out. She figured it out. So she came and tried it on hers, and it opened. I knew that was the code, but I kept telling her I didn't know the code you didn't want because her I didn't it. want her opening it. Playing exactly. with real money. Mm. And she's playing with money. She's like, inflation, don't worry about it. She's like cooking the money, bro. Mm-hmm. You got to take it back to the I said, table and teacher. Do you know how much money this is? Uh, she said, This is a whole half oh, tank she of said, gas. She said, Cinco dollar. And I'm like, No, it's not Cinco, cinco dollar, ma'am. Dollars. This is a hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollar bill. I don't know who gave you a hundred dollars for your birthday, but somebody did. And this is not a toy. And I just, I just kind of like explained to her. So then I took all the money. I go put it back in her piggy bank, and now I hit the piggy bank because she's <laughs> at that be- point. You should have just took the money out and like. No, but I really th- she's got enough money to where I think she could. It's probably half of what the actual play thing cost. So and I think if, I'm gonna use and if we money. get and if we get her YouTube channel popping. <laughs> And she really she have really, whatever. You she start wants. paying some of these bills. <laughs> everybody <laughs> got to work. Get to work already. <laughs> Biden's a, Joe work. Biden's America. Everybody got to work. Yo, um, so every, when can people listen to this podcast, guys? Tuesdays. Tuesdays when? Noon. Boom. Facebook Watch. What's it called? Cafecito Time. With who? Oh, man. That's a hard one. Marisol. The Blings, actually. <laughs> Hanging with the Blings. Yeah, man. So, uh, I like and of course, the it's a podcast. Babe. And it's a podcast. So you could listen anytime, all the time. And if you want to sponsor the show, send an email to. Marisol at shingabling.com. And someone will get back to you as soon as possible. Oh, also real quick, do you know why I kind of don't, I haven't really moved fast enough about getting the play set? It's because I really like that there's no furniture in that front room. I don't know what it is about it. I just like that there's nothing there. Even though I know we need a couch there. Like, like is that- Well, we have that upstairs uh, spare bedroom. I don't know if you want to like... Maybe that's where the setup goes to like be able to live stream or something. Maybe, yeah. Like that just, room to the left when you walk in? Yeah, when you walk in. No, no, no. no, no. We're talking about two different rooms. Oh. Uh, I'm talking about the spare bedroom upstairs. Yeah, but she's talking about downstairs, Yeah, I'm right? talking about downstairs. Yeah. Like I don't, I have my rocking chairs in there because they were here at this one before this house turned into our studio. The rocking chairs were on my porch, so they never got wet. They never got ugly. They got dirty, but never ugly. Well, I decided to put them in the backyard it had been it was during that time where it was raining really bad they started to turn black and they're from a crack barrel so i was like uh no these aren't how to come back inside so my husband was nice enough to wash my rocking chairs Aww. and detailed hand, hand washed. detailed my while my i thanked rocking. her <laughs> <laughs> what if you let him put jujitsu mats in that front room uh yeah no that's she don't want that that's no a, that's, that's gonna much. be a nice for yeah no that's that was the whole point of putting their game their game area in the back i don't mind it i don't mind they, they are gonna have to have mats back there because where are they gonna fall on the you know on the floor they can't it, so there will we will need mats there but also i can't just have don't black. call them jujitsu match mm-hmm. i just don't want them to be black so they you know you know they have color options mm. they okay. have color options i'm just throwing it out there it's okay i'll put that shit in the garage but i'm just letting you know i just really want a garage gym i would just be honest with you 
And I feel like if we have those mats there, they would help all of us. Like, it'd be useful for all of us, right? Like, I want you to have that fitness app where people can sign up. That's why. And that's where I want my, that's where I want my gym to be. Which so is more I, of a gym studio. Like it's gotta be like lighting, like production, like, like a private studio. Way. Yeah. In I just want to be able to work out there because like, for example, this whole week, I haven't been able to hit in the gym or go to any of my classes because I've been busy. Right. It's a good busy, right? I'm not complaining about it because um shout out if you've ever shopped at the hive pop up in the rice village because y'all are making my um items sell out there so i really appreciate anybody who's shopped there and if you've shopped on my online store herapparelTX.com, thank you very much for supporting there as well it's very much appreciated but anyhow and it supports a- the household so i want to thank you too and what uh, it supports the household, so I want to thank all the shoppers <laughs> and customers too. Thank you guys. So, and I, and y'all, your husbands need to be thanking y'all. Oh my god! <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so you know, when's the next drop, and where can they get it? Um, so the next drop's gonna be actually, I think it's gonna be um probably the next week, probably October fifteenth. Awesome. Or so around there. And the so, better get right with God shirts. What happened? I just never photographed in them. See how the system sometimes, you know, we yeah. you make the stuff. Well, here's the thing. People like it. The female the female version uh, of that. The, we need an in-house photographer is what I'm trying to tell y'all. If anybody well, the, wants to enter. Yes, please. We would love that. <laughs> For real. I would. Because that's what the front is going to be. Just the rolls to come down. You can. Does that camera take good photos? Of course it does. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Dude, Lizeth did our family photos the other I day. I saw. She yeah. does a good. She's one of my uh, patronas. Yep. With that camera? No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, okay. um, she's one of my patronas. She's very skilled. I told her I wanted her because she. I liked her uh, fitness mm-hmm. shoots that she does. I love the lighting for those. It's she knows kind of like where to make it dark mm-hmm. to where it looks like dun, 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 like you're about to really do some shit, some damage. I yeah. don't know. I just liked her videos. I don't know if she did the videos too, but um, they're just like promo videos of like. I guess she's promoting the gym or wherever. But I noticed she takes a lot of gym pictures. So anyway, um, there was a point to this. Oh, yeah. So there's a photo shoot today. So there's a lot happening. So I haven't made it to the gym. So that's kind of why I'm like, well, if we were here, I at least, you know, it would be kind of a a, a two thing, a double whammy here where I would be able to work out and I'd, my camera would be set up to where I can just hit record. And now you record my workout and we're done. Right. And now I've recorded something and I've worked out. So when this is done, that's in the next project. When this is done, I feel like then that's going to be the next project. And then, then after that, it's going to be the, the living room. Cause I do want the girls to have that type of play. I, th- I wanted them to there's have a lot of things yeah a lot of projects there's a lot of things yeah good things a lot of projects, yeah. Yeah. i'm not complaining rob at all mm-hmm. and i'm not a complainer pete will tell you that mm-hmm. far from a complainer because i'm super duper thankful that although could things get be better 100 percent. could i use about three assistants 100 mm-hmm. <laughs> percent um, yeah, Penny's gonna miss jujitsu today. She's missing jujitsu today because that's, of this, and that's a little strike on my on my daughter's consistency and and her learning. Mm. So because I have this photo shoot today, right? But this photo shoot is what brings us money, so it's kind of like gotta support the household. Yeah, exactly. So um, if I could have that, but I'm thankful and I thank God every day because He still comes through. Do you guys, did you guys ever finish Coffee at the Time with anything like a prayer or anything like a good quote? No, but I do do uh, positive quotes of the day on Her, Her Lounge. Lounge podcast. Do you want to leave? You want to? Do you want to end it that way? Because I have some ready. Come on. All right. Send us out with something good, some good vibes. I'm going to send y'all out with some good vibes. Because you know, Tuesdays are always that day of the week that's kind of like blah. It's like meh, right? It's just Tuesday. It's not it's the like, middle. It's not the beginning. It's like who cares? It's Tuesday. So this is the best part of people's day is Coffee at Time. For sure. Um. Nothing outside of you has power over you. You decide how you think, feel, and do things in your life. Take full ownership and become free, which is perfect for for us. That's the prayer? Or it's like a quote? No, it's a quote. Oh, okay. Did you think we were going to pray? Well, he said. Well, I was asking. I was asking. Oh, I heard prayer, prayer or- and then you put out your phone. I'm like, damn, okay, we need phones to pray. No. <laughs> That's a quote. I said, we would pay it. I said, would you like for me to end with a positive quote? Oh, and you said, it. yeah, go for it. So oh, okay. that's my positive quotes. I got them lined up because you know my head. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rob, I've been doing so good. Have I not? No, for sure. Yeah. I came in with all my topics. Yeah. 
came in with all my positive quotes from my podcast. Productivity to another level. Yeah, it was. It was great. We were these were good episodes. Everybody's quoting my stuff in the in the Discord, just so you know. Well, they're roasting me. And they're roasting you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't get it. They don't get it. Get the Prager U video. <laughs> They're like, ooh, he's in trouble. And I said, oh, I thought to myself when I saw someone said, oh, Rob's in trouble. I thought to myself, yeah, that's what he said when he, went, when he got off air. I'm going to be in trouble when I get home. <laughs> you got Rob's 10 years younger than me. You got you to gotta take all this into account. But I'm also an old soul, or so I've been told. Really? Oh, okay. okay. I guess not. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm still a child. Really? <laughs> I think in some ways you are, but then in some ways you're still young. Well, I mean, you kick, you, kick, you kick it with the old folk, bro. That's true. So, yeah, so that's true. Yeah, you are. I'd much rather kick it with the old folk. Come on now. Yeah. But I think there's, obviously, this is your generation, so obviously you're going to yeah. be this generation. It's true. Yeah, I was on the apps. We talked about it. Just because... Um, I, it was weird because I think we talked about it on my podcast, babe. I think I told you, but I know we're going to end um, about how I was all having this conversation with my eyelash tech about how like, I can't believe these guys that used to work for us couldn't even send off a letter. And she was like, or write a letter. And she was like, quiet. And I felt so dumb. And I was like, she goes, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to mail a letter. I was like, what? I felt so old. Like I felt like, I feel That's like, wow. hey, I like, feel like. About, do you feel like that? Uh, sometimes, especially when she says that somebody couldn't fill out an envelope. I'm like, what? So, no, but, but you, do you know how to do all oh, this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. He's just a few years older than her. She's 28. You're 32. Two. Two. So they're not too far. So you're an old head compared to her. Yeah. Like she'll look at you like, y'all old. Mother. Basically, yeah. But have you, the other day, I was like having to put in my date of birth. <laughs> and I was scrolling the feel thing. Bad? I remember being young and filling out like a, a application for work and being like, Ooh, that's gotta suck to be that old. Right. Cause my 1981 was not, you know, all the way up there. Now it's like, Oh, there's 1981. I got to you know? scroll till I get to the sevens. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's not right. Like, go back to when Jimmy Carter was president. Go back. <laughs> I was like, Oh my God. Penny asked me the other day, how old I was. What'd you tell her? And I said, I'm 40. And she goes, 40. How many is that? And I was like, <laughs> so I drew a bunch of circles for her, like a bunch of little dots. And I did them in groups of 10. Right. Cause I knew it was good. She was like, decade. Uh, she was like, yeah, that's too many. She goes, no, yo no puedo. Like, I'm not counting that far up. Sorry, ma'am. You're that's old. That's a lot of years. <laughs> Sorry, old lady. And what'd you do with all them years? Like, they asked me that. Like, well, you know, I was uh, trying. You know, I tried this and tried that. But, but I, I, I was, when I was having this conversation with my lash tech, I told her, I said, I wish that we, I told you, I wish that we were kind of like, as soon as the 20s hit, I wish that something would go off in our head. And all the knowledge that I have now would, would happen in my 20s. Can you imagine if all the knowledge that you have right now mm -hmm. happened in your twenties? Would don't you think you would have? I'd be. You, I'd have been super wise mm, in my twenties. Mm, like, oh, don't yeah. don't drink that. Me know. too. I would have been such a different person. Like I feel like I would have. My shit would have been together way before. You know, I I still feel like I had my shit together. I mean, I'm still trying to get my shit together. <laughs> are we all though? Yeah, that's yeah I think like, we all that's, are. Yeah, I think everybody still that's does. Because ever, especially as an entrepreneur, I think you're constantly. Mm -hmm. shifting and making and you know the cruel part adjusting. about life is as you're getting older like you're figuring it out when you're like uh one foot in the grave basically mm -hmm. <laughs> sadly damn, but yes it's true it is ah, damn, there bro. is a saying like that though right yeah. i think i've read something like that before yeah oh uh, I'm, I'm i'm offended i need to save space <laughs> how dare you you know you start to figure it out when you got one foot in the grave <laughs> but um so yeah 41 Happy birthday. I can't believe I'll be 41. I remember turning 21 and thinking like, oh my God, it's fucking official. But I was already doing everything. You were everything. drinking for the last five years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was already doing whatever most 21-year-olds would wait to have done. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like I was already partying at 21. Like, big deal, you know? So it was like nothing big. I remember um, my uh, cousin asked, she goes, are you throwing like a 21, like your 21st birthday? And I'm like, for what? Like, I've already been to a club. Like, you know, that I've had like a drink. a lot of work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't, I always had parties for my birthday. So that's why she was asking if I was going to throw a big bash. But I just kind of felt like, well, there's no big milestone for me there because I've already, 
I've already had drinks. I've already partied. Hey, so we're they're... gonna throw a party when we finally empty that storage unit. Like, <laughs> celebration. <laughs> Are you? You're invited, Rob. Are you coming? It's adult life, right there. Yeah. For real. So. I finally made time and stopped doing all the other stuff. What are you I doing for your do? 41st birthday? I'm emptying yeah. out of storage units. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Morning. I'm gonna start taping the trim so I can sand it a little bit and paint it. So you might as well like, what are you hitting for your birthday? I'm hitting back, maybe buys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Something. Mm-hmm. Don't you right? think that's a- yeah, imagine. I mean, that's how you know time is crucial when you're like, I'm going to do something special. Like, I'm going to have some me time and go to the gym. That's like. That's actually what I told him. I said, Friday, the day before my birthday, I want to finally use the facial gift certificate you gave me two years ago for my birthday. The. Um, massage gift certificate you gave me for my see if they didn't expire for mother's right? day i don't know if they're not ex- that's exactly they're like mother's we're out day. of business this is someone else's <laughs> permanently closed i'm like i've got to use them now like i have to find time for it so i said it's gonna be my birthday i'm gonna go ahead and do that for for myself don't call me don't text me i don't know it's gonna be my answer for everybody i don't know Stay out the way, Chino. Not today, guys. Mm-hmm. Not today. Yeah, yeah. I finna do me. Yeah. Who? I don't know. That was me in San Antonio doing me in the daytime. Like, that was like, you able to go get in a little jujitsu class before a show? Like, man. Self-care, right? I mean, I was just like, man, take advantage. And anything else was going to seem, like anything else that, um, like on the road prior would have seemed like a waste of time like oh, i think i'm gonna like take a nap and probably go uh you know and it's like nah dog, this was the best use of your time boom get it out the way learn some shit so that was cool mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. anyhow well we have a photo shoot yeah yeah or, or i do <laughs> hey y'all already know well i'm i'm a production assistant i'm helping mm-hmm. y'all both busy. uh thank y'all so much for tuning in and uh, as y'all know we are juggling a lot we appreciate the feedback please let us know in the comments get let us know hey we y'all need to have a segment like this and you need an intro song like that and y'all should do one of these or do that or or, or we should do it ask the blinks that's something new that we started mm. is ask mighty soul for my newsletter oh yeah i like that you know my my um assistant. podcast assistant dude that, that anonymous i like that it isn't that she that was genius yeah. so she made an anonymous link was it you or her uh it was mostly her. okay it's mostly her i'll um, give her she, the props um she made an anonymous link babe and did you thank her <laughs> <laughs> an anonymous link uh-huh, to um submitting your questions no one's gonna know like who it was i won't know your name nothing it's just pretty much just a question and i'm like your dear abby i'm gonna answer it for you so maybe we should do it and ask the blings we can get to that point yeah yeah mm-hmm. so this is gonna go on facebook watch live yep so we have there's a way there to see comments yep. so mm-hmm. maybe in the comments if you have questions ask them and if you'd like to see some kind of segment or some kind of like topic all feedback any feedback all yeah. feedback is welcome yeah so sure. share it on facebook share it on your facebook wall send it to a friend tag a friend yeah even if it's like this is dumb don't ever do it again or, that's fine or, <laughs> you or y'all should talk about something else or hell yeah these should be daily or how do i sponsor oh yeah if you're a business especially a business please hit us up as you can see it is live as you can see everybody will see your um logo here or up here or no it's probably down down here here. okay boom 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 you see it that's just leave it up the whole time bro that way you ain't gotta mess with it (laughs) yeah right anyhow uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we will be back next week. She's about to thank me. <laughs> That's like she should. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what? We are. Should, I'm, I am a. I am a, a woman of God. Otherwise, I'd stick two middle fingers out right now. Ooh, <laughs> damn. The peace sign. The peace sign. Ooh, <laughs> damn. Right here. Who are you flicking off? <laughs> thank you, Chingo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I don't know. I just got flicked off. I don't know. All right, y'all. Y'all be good. Tune in. Tell a friend. Bye. Sass.